blue jeans, white shirt, walked into the room, you know you made my eyes burn, it was like James Dean, for sure. I'm just feeling a bit emotional because I'm on my period. And also, does anyone know why this song is named Blue Jeans, but the actual word Blue Jeans only appears once at the very beginning? Anyway. Hey guys, it's Gloria, raised from the dead from my last outfit video where I put on 30 outfits in a row. Well, I'm alive, and today I'm not going to torture myself and torture you with 30 outfits. Instead, I'm going to show you 10 ways to wear blue jeans in the fall and winter season. You know, our good old One Shirt Many Ways series. The jeans I'm going to be using are these Everlane straight leg jeans. Probably shouldn't be doing that on my period. I used to not like wearing jeans because everyone else wears jeans, and as a rebel at heart, my natural instinct is to do the exact opposite of what everyone else does. But guess what? I found these super comfortable jeans and now they are my favorite things to wear. Alas, I have failed as a rebel. But let's see how we can style these jeans. This outfit is what I would wear if I want to pretend I'm going to watch a Chanel fashion show. First, I'm wearing these jeans with a bougie looking pussy bow silk blouse. Mixing a dressy item with a casual one will make it look quite elegant. Wise words from an elegant potato. I'm also putting on a pair of black ankle boots. These are pretty much my shoes by default in fall and winter. Now I'll put on my white tweed jacket, which is obviously inspired by Chanel but produced by Zara. Next, I'll put on my black bucket hat or cloche hat. This is very 1920s, much like Coco Chanel herself. And finally, I'll finish the look with a little black bag. This is no Chanel 2.55 flat bag, but it is a flat bag. And voila! Now I'm ready to go watch my Chanel show, although this is probably like Chanel 2017 and I'm kind of 3 years late to the show. This outfit is what I would wear if people actually believed I was going to a Chanel show and now I can't get enough. For this look, I'm swapping the white blouse for a black wool sweater. Hold your horses, this is just the base layer. I'm wearing my black ankle boots as usual, I'm not even gonna bother to take them off. And now I'm gonna put on this black and white cropped tweed jacket. This jacket has some serious Chanel vibes, it's almost illegal. Anywho, I'll also add a belt to make it look like I put in some serious effort. And to complete the look, I'll wear my signature bucket hat and carry the same little black bag. I have no idea which era this would be from, Chanel 1997 maybe? I don't know. I was too young to know what Chanel was. It was a simpler time. This is what I would wear if I get tired of pretending I'm going to a Chanel show, and now I want to pretend I'm going to a Gucci show. For this one, I'm wearing these jeans with a crisp white shirt. I'll also put on a plaid blazer. I feel like plaid is a thing for Gucci, or for any designer really. But now, here comes the most important element, a headscarf. I'm just gonna wrap this large silk scarf on my head, 1970s hippie style. And then I'll put on a pair of black shades because I'm starting to look a bit ridiculous and I don't want you to recognize me. And since I don't own a Gucci bag, I'll complete the look with a Louis Vuitton bag, although I might get kicked out of the show. You can probably tell I haven't been following Gucci very closely. The TikTok Gucci model trend just rubbed off on me and I don't even watch TikTok. To avoid offending every designer in this video, I'm gonna stop faking my fashion show imitation now. For this look, I'm wearing these jeans with a black turtleneck sweater. Don't worry, this is not gonna be a Steve Jobs outfit. I'm layering a blue striped shirt on top of it. Of course, this is purely for styling purposes. Now I'll put on my beloved beige trench coat. I'll leave the collar of the blue striped shirt outside just to create a bit of visual interest. I'll tie my hair up and finish the look with my cool black shades. Initially, I didn't even know if this look would work. I was just making shit up, but I think it does, and I'm pretty proud of myself.
All right, this outfit is a bit less extra, probably something I would actually wear on a daily basis. All I need to do is to start with my classic Steve Jobs combo. Well, I'll add a little belt too. And then I'll just throw on a tailored camel wool coat. Honestly, this coat just makes every simple outfit look super polished, even though I put zero effort into it. Okay, fine, I'll put a little bit more effort into it. I'm just gonna put on a pair of black shades and a pair of black leather gloves and carry an everyday bag that I can stuff everything in. And that's it. You can call it less is more or effortless or minimal. I'm just searching for different words to praise myself. This outfit is what I would wear if I'm drinking high tea with my bestie. Yes, this is very specific because I actually have that planned. I think I'm gonna wear a white cashmere turtleneck sweater with these jeans. And I'm finally changing my shoes. I'm putting on these white loafers, but whether I can actually wear them will depend on the weather. I'm also gonna put on my new favorite white cashmere cardigan. I've been waiting for an opportunity to wear this combo in real life. Now to clean up the look a little bit, I'm gonna tie my hair into a slick bun, put on a pair of gold hoop earrings, and a gold necklace. And to make me look less like a mom and more like a fashionista, I'm gonna roll up my jeans, no offense mom. I'm gonna finish the look with a pair of white Kelly sunglasses on my head and a white baguette bag. Now I'm gonna sit in this outfit for a week until I get to have my high tea. I just got over Paris, but then I watched Emily in Paris, and now I can't help but do a French outfit. Damn it, talk about brainwashing. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the same white turtleneck and jeans combo, and I'm putting on a pair of proper black loafers. I feel like this is something a French girl would wear. Not Emily though, apparently she's able to walk in heels in Paris. Now I'm putting on an oversized black blazer. French girls love wearing oversized jackets. It looks like you're trying, but not trying too hard. That's what they're all about. I'm also gonna tie a navy and red silk scarf around my neck. This is literally called a French knot. I did not make this up. And to finish the look, I'll put a pair of black shades on my head and carry a burgundy baguette bag. This is what I would wear if I got sent to Paris. Somebody please send me there. And also, I wouldn't mind a handsome French chef. Okay, I didn't get sent to Paris, but I did get sent back to reality. Anyway, for this look, I'm wearing these jeans with a camel turtleneck sweater. It's an earthy color to keep me grounded. I'm pairing this with a pair of white ankle boots. These are not the most practical things, probably not so grounded after all. To match with these boots, I'm putting on a white faux fur coat. The only good thing about being cold is being able to wear my favorite coats. Now I'm gonna tie my hair up, put on a pair of gold hoop earrings, and I'm finishing the look with my signature white cat eye sunglasses and a white baguette bag. This is what I would wear if I'm going shopping in some fancy places, although that's not gonna happen because I only shop online in my PJs. As some of you may know, I'm starting to work out now and I'm forming a new personality, a stronger, tougher personality. So for this outfit, I'm pairing these jeans with a black and white Breton shirt. Although this shirt kind of makes me look like I'm in jail. Uh, not that kind of personality. Okay, I'm also gonna wear these new combat boots that I just got from Massimo Duty. Let me roll up my jeans so that you can see these babies better. And now I'll put on my good old leather jacket. I actually just ordered a proper leather biker jacket too, but it just wouldn't arrive, so screw it. Anyways, to take it up a notch, I'm gonna accessorize with a black belt, put on my new spoil cap, and carry a black bag that may or may not contain dangerous things. Now I'm ready to go kick some asses.
By saying I'm forming a new personality, I don't mean just one dimension. I'm a multi-dimensional being, so there are different facets to it. For this look, I'm starting with a thermal top underneath because this girl can feel, and she feels cold sometimes. Now, I'm gonna put on a black mock neck sweatshirt on top. This is my new status symbol as a potato, but a cool one. I'm also wearing a black beanie and a pair of aviator sunglasses. This is pretty much a cool person starter pack, or a hippie starter pack to be honest. Now, I'll finish the look with a big peace bag because peace and love, duh. This look is when my new personality is chilling, you know, when I'm not out there kicking asses. How do you like my new personality? No? Oh, okay.